loved the quiet. I longed for quiet, especially after a busy day. It was something me, more than many other people, maybe, appreciated it. Quiet your mind, slow down a balance. Then things changed. It still is a bit sharp for me, but I developed tinnitus and it basically threw me a bit for a loop. Uh, is this quiet enough for you? Quiet. Tinnitus is a ringing in the ears that is constant. It has been found to be different intensities, different levels, different keys, different bells. Mine is just a continuous ringing, somewhat like crickets on hyperspeed, just continuously. There's never a break, so it just continues in unison. I used to love the quiet solitude. Now I want the noise to comfort me. It's almost a re requirement now. So my life of quiet will never be the same. So it will, my life will always be in need of some type of noise. Which in the tinnitus world, that is called masking. Certainly, it was researching and finding coping mechanisms. So certainly, there's medication, and that's not a route I want to take because the medication is going to solve the problem. It's only a temporary solution. There's also hearing aids, and that they said was 50 50. There is masking devices, sound machines. Um, on the phone, there's tinnitus therapy. There are no cures, there are only masking temporary coping mechanisms really it, just to cope with a road that was very difficult i could sum it up to a true in-depth fear a, a overall overwhelming fear which i've never felt i was actually mad at myself for having that much fear because i put so much pressure on myself it initially felt like i was displaced all of a sudden an abstraction entered my life because there's sound that you've never experienced before in your ears. That overwhelming fear and disgust started taking over and I started feeling there was nowhere to turn. I felt a, a desperation. There were times I actually said, I want to bash my head against a wall. I've got to hurt my head, hurt myself to stop it. Are you really going to do that? No. I wanted to be strong for you. I wanted to be an example as I've always wanted to be and I think I've portrayed it in most cases. This strong person that's giving you an example of how I want you to handle it. It needs to be some type of revelation in yourself. Telling yourself, get it together, you're strong face this, there could be things that are a lot worse, and, and try to handle it. The possibilities are greater now than they would have been two and a half, three months ago. Of course, it'll never be the same, but the acceptance of this, this is the working past it, the always learning part of it, hoping for a better future as far as finding an answer. I don't know, I think I've opened my eyes more to understanding the fact that there could be more people to come with aging. 
and because of this challenge, I think I can actually say I, I might be able to face other imperfections and be able to face them a little bit better and, and gain some strength from this. I think people take sound to get for granted. I think people take sight for granted. I think people take touch, all the senses, for granted. When faced with having to dwell upon it is when all of a sudden it becomes gigantic, big. Because then you think about it, but you don't think about it when someone has hearing loss because of um, uh, instruments or from a concert or from engines or just loud noise in general, you don't think about it until it happens to you. Isn't that with everything?